Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are, uh, we're back at the shop and we have a ton to do this week. Shouldn't say we have a ton to do, I have a ton to do this week. Um, lots to get done. First things first, if you watched yesterday's video, I've got to get the exhaust on the Mustang fixed. That's probably what I'm going to start on today, uh, just because I want to get it back on. Um, I blew the baffling out of that uh, catalytic converter and then it got jammed in my X pipe blew my exhaust off so I'll get that fixed up but on the Supra this week I still got to get those stickers off because I've been lazy and didn't want to get them off um, I've got to get these back fenders cut out for the body kit and uh, get any metal work there that's done I need to underneath this side let's see if I can see it down underneath here I need to fix that right there because this is where the uh, body kit's going to mold to so I got to get that fixed I gotta get the whole thing wiped down one more time. I sprayed it down the other day, but uh, I wanna get a rag and like hand wipe everything down so we can get that off to paint work. So that's all gotta be done this week. I've got a pile over here. This is all to go to powder coat, this stuff here. And I still have to take these rear brakes apart, get the bearings out, take those brakes apart so I can get that rear guard off. I'm gonna order all new hubs. And those knuckles, those are going to go in for powder coat. We've got the vote up right now for suspension, so make sure you go vote. I think it's in uh, yesterday's video or the day before. There is a link there for the vote. Um, the rear diff, I've got the guys at Halton. I've got the guys at Halton Transmission looking into seeing exactly what we need to do with the diff. Um, they're fairly confident that that diff, if it's built, like you know, I mean, if we take it apart, rebuild it, and build it with good internals. It should easily handle the power that we're, we're ready to throw at it, but he's going to do just a little bit more research before we get on that. Uh, then over here, we've got to get these here. Um, going to go in for sandblasting. I've got to get these brakes uh, done, and then I've got the rebuild kit for this coming, so I can rebuild those. Over here, I think today or tomorrow, um, I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get this down to Competition Automotive, and get them to machine out this here for our oil return for the turbo, um, and then clean it all up, make it all look all nice. So make this one here look like this because we want it nice and clean. So that's got to get done. Um, and then on top of that, I also have the meth kit going in the Mustang. I've got to get that in. Uh, I'm hoping Paintworks gonna have my tank done. Um, in the next day or two so I'll be doing an install video on the meth kit and then this will be going back down to the dyno so Kevin can work his magic get her all tuned up so there's uh, there's a ton to do today um, not today I, I'm not gonna get all done today but there's a ton to do this week um, so we're gonna keep plucking away at it getting everything uh, sorted out and and get closer and closer to, to getting this thing uh, painted and, and done up so um, like I said, I'm going to see what I can do. I don't know what I'm going to do with this exhaust because that packing for the uh, catalytic converter, yeah, it's tough stuff. I'm trying to drill out one right now. Um, the one that didn't blow out, I'm trying to drill it out. And uh, it, is, it is pretty hard stuff in there. So I'm going to work on that. And uh, when I get the exhaust going back on everything, I'll, uh, I'll update you on how that's going. And we'll work on, uh, see what else we can get done today. So guys, this is, uh, surprisingly enough, I've never hogged out a cat before. Uh, I've never needed to. This is the first time and it is extremely difficult. Uh, it's taken me about two hours to get that out of one cat. That's the one that didn't blow out. And I've been working for over an hour. I don't know where it went here. Sorry. There's some of the cat that was in there. She's all, she's all melted and burnt up. But down inside there, you can see the rest of the cat right in my X pipe. You can see all the marks inside of my exhaust. I've been, I've been trying crazy to get it out for like an hour. And uh, let's see if I can get a better shot there. Yeah, you can see it's kind of over the X pipe there. It's kind of cut in half and. I've been picking away at it and I uh, can't seem to get it out. I guess it went in hot and then when it dried and hardened, boy is it tough. I've been trying to drill it, I've been trying to do everything and, uh, and can't get it out so I'm going to keep working on it though. 
and uh, see if I can't get it out so I can get this exhaust back on the Mustang. All right, so I got the rest of the cat out. It took, a, again, three hours to get this piece out of, you can see I tried to drill it. Um, it extremely hard stuff to get out. I don't know what it is, um, but very tough to get out. It was jammed right in my exhaust. Um, this one here looks like it burnt up, you know what I mean? Got real hot. I don't know if it's that it went in there hot and kind of tightened itself in there and then cooled off, but man, it's taken four and a half hours to get the other cat clean and this out of the exhaust, but I got her back on. Everything's lined up. Got her back on and tight and uh, ready to go. I hope uh, I'm gonna clear my uh, O2 sensor codes. I'm gonna hope this O2 sensor is throwing a code right now, but I'm hoping it's because this here baffle blew out and smashed by it or something. I'm gonna have to put a new O2 sensor in it, but that's it. All right, so just an update. I got the exhaust back on and uh, I fired it up. I went to clear the codes because um, I thought maybe that second O2 sensor that's gone, um, that baffling that blew by uh, may have broke or, or damaged the O2 sensor. It's not showing any codes. <laughs> My engine light's still on, it's showing zero codes. I cleared it anyway because uh, I thought, well, maybe something um, lingering in the computer. So I cleared all the codes anyway and my engine light's still on with no codes. So I'm not too sure what that's about. Um, I will say that the car definitely seems to rev quicker now that that exhaust, like I don't know how long that's been in there, how long that's been clogged like that. It could have been clogged like that for a while. Uh, but now that that's out, the car's a little bit louder, which I really don't need it to be any louder. But uh, I feel like it's revving, like when you, you touch it, the throttle response and, and, uh, and the revs are much quicker on it than what it was. So I'm going to uh, give my tuner a call and uh, talk to Kevin for a bit and see what he thinks maybe the problem is um, with it. But as of right now, no codes in the computer. Um, it's not saying anything about the O2 sensor. It's not saying anything about anything, but it still has the engine light on, which bothers me because I'll get rid of the car if the engine light, if I can't get the engine light to go out. Uh, nothing bothers me more than having an engine light on. It drives me crazy. I like to have no lights on my dash. So. Um, just an update guys. I will uh, let you know what happens with it and uh, we'll get working back on the Supra So Again, it's gonna be a short video just working on the Mustang um, It was it was tough to get it out, but uh, yeah for those of you that are new to the channel Toyota Supra we're giving it away. It's got a 4509 veil side body kit going on it uh, I'm gonna get on that later on today. See if I can't cut those fenders off <sighs> Get those stupid stickers off. I keep saying that uh, but uh, hopefully I will get those off today and maybe get to the rear brakes and uh, get some stuff down to powder coat. I think I'm going to take a ride down to Competition Automotive to get that uh, oil pan down to them and uh, get that machine done so that I can put the bottom of the, the engine together and uh, we'll keep going. So again, guys, there's a vote up right now. It's for suspension on whether or not you guys want it on bags or if you guys want it static. Uh, make sure you go hit that link. Make sure you vote. Uh, get your... Get your um, you're saying I met a lot of people at the car show yesterday that uh, love the body kit. I've met a lot of people at the car show that weren't a big fan of the body kit. They like the, the look of the stock Supra. Um, and, you know, I mean, some people complaining about some of the, the stuff that we're doing. It's not up to me, guys. Not me choosing. It's you guys choosing. So make sure you go vote if you want it on bags or if you want it static. And we'll see you in the next video.